Right, we're putting clearer boards on uh, the ones that we think we need to buy queens for. So this is a new type that, well, it's not a new type, it's been in existence for a while, but we've not used it before. What this is, is a one-way valve for bees. Put it up this way, the bees go in here, you have to have it ventilated so they can smell each other, and then they come out through these little holes, and they find it difficult to find their way back in again. They can, if you leave it on for too long, so 24 hours, and you should take it off. The trouble is, at the moment, we're clearing down the ones that we're going to buy queens for and they don't clear down very well because there's no brood in the bottom so they've got no urge to go down. This is what you do to take the honey off. So we'll be taking the honey off and then buying them a new queen. And that's this one here, which has been queens for a while but has enough bees for us to buy them a queen. This one? Is it? Or that one. You always remember better than me. I had a feeling it was the one with the... Thing on the top. With the... You didn't move this off the top of this one, did you? No, I didn't move it off the top of that one. Not now, anyway. I suggest we look at our notes. Yes. Right. Right. We've established it's this one. <laughs> it's a trouble when you've got... Um, clonking on for 200 hives you think your memory is serving you well and then you realize it isn't so uh, this is the one we'll have a look at her again now see if we think that there's enough bees in there to take a queen it's just checking again even though we checked the other day just in case anything's changed since friday it's sunday now Highly unlikely, but you'd be surprised how often we've bought queens and then when you go to put them in you go, ah! Thanks. And uh, you didn't, it's not a problem because you can always make up a, a nucleus hive for them. They're very calm and quiet, which is nice. But far, far too many drones. Clomping on a bit, I don't know what the time is, but the sun is uh, coming off of them now. I'm always itching to have a look when he's doing this. I'm just looking for a queen and they're working balsam. Yes, I just saw a glimpse of a balsamy back. There's one there. There's just a little badge of stripe on it. That's interesting. See another one on that side. So Stuart's looking in case he can see a queen. If anybody can spot one, he can. Of course, there's no guarantee when you buy a queen that they'll accept it. It can be a particularly be a problem if you've got dark bees. And these bees are quite dark and you get them a, a lighter coloured queen. And they'll accept it all right and then you'll go in to check how things are and they'll see it. You literally see them go, my goodness, and start 
and then they fall on them like a long dog because they know that they're not their queen visually. So you've got to be a bit careful and not look too closely if you're putting a lighter queen in with darker bees. The other way round, uh, the lighter bees are so laid back that they'll accept a darker queen without patting an eyelid. And when you've paid 40 odd pounds for a queen and they s suddenly decide to kill it, it's a bit uh, depressing. That looks a bit like brood at a glance, doesn't it? But it's stores. I need to give them a few new frames in the spring. It's no good doing it at this time of year. I know other people do find that they will draw wax at this time of year, but we just don't find they will. So the other thing we've checked is they've got good stores. We may, we'll judge again once they're cleared down, we may put them into a smaller box before we give them the cream. So sure it's carefully putting out the book back, which is nice and easy when there's not a hundred thousand bees. And uh, then he'll put the one-way valve of clear aboard on the top. And hopefully all the bees that are in the three supers will clear down overnight. And tomorrow afternoon we'll take the supers off. And we're going to order the queen for them, which we hope will be here on Wednesday. So there we are. Stuart makes them deep so that there's room for them to clear down into. Right, now I've got to lift those supers back on. One thing I didn't say when you're putting a clearer board on, you've got to check eagle-eyed for gaps. Also, that the roof is good and there's nowhere that anybody can get in. And we've got a gap just here. And if we don't fill that, the bees will go in and rob all the honey out before the morning so that's really important I don't think but I can put stuff in that just in case better to do it than to get it wrong